What's up guys, Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com as always. You can always email me, it's, which is anthony at empiremusic.com. It's exactly what I just said in an email address, it's amazing. Um, this just came through the door today. Super, super cool basses. Reminds me of maybe 10 years ago or so, and I'll explain why in a brief story, but not to be too long-winded. But it's the Fender Boxer Series Precision Bass, made in Japan which is cool. It's always a really strong cult following for like the MIJ instruments, regardless of what they are. Um, so brief backstory, when my father moved back up from Florida, maybe about 10 or 11 years ago, he brought A, a 76 P bass that was really cool, but really tough to keep in tune and to keep the neck straight, which ended up getting sold. But it started my affinity and my affection for precision basses. But he also brought me one of these, but it was hot pink, had like the black capped, um, headstock on it, like hot pink body. And uh, it sounded really, really, really good. Same exact pickup configuration, same body shape, really it was the same exact bass. Um, so a little bit into the specs of the bass, um, it's got a precision body on it. It's got a hot jazz single coil pickup in the uh, bridge position, and it's got a high output P pickup in the neck position. What's going on down here, control-wise, is a little bit different than what we would typically see out of a P bass or even a J bass. So what's going on here, you have a three-way toggle switch. We go from the bridge pickup, both pickups, to the neck pickup. Volume aligning with the neck pickup, volume aligning with the bridge pickup, and then this is a TBX tone control, so there's a little notch in the middle here. And when I was playing at the, in the intro, I had this, this knob totally dimed, but really it's kind of two knobs in one. So the notch position is really the halfway point. So let's say from zero to five, it functions like a typical tone knob. So we go from like that muddied, sort of very muffled sound up to like your typical bright sort of, uh, you know, you have like good representation of high end and low end in it, like typical, like a tone knob on 100. Now after that notch position at five, we engage the TBX control, which is like a, uh, Kind of like they call it like a tone expander. So what ends up happening is you sort of start to scoop out the frequency spectrum and we are accentuating the highs, we're accentuating the lows, and we're scooping out the mids. So it can kind of get, um, it almost kind of sounds like an active bass even though it's not, there's no battery or anything in it. So that's kind of what happens with the tone control. What I also kind of experienced here, and I'll show you when I start playing it. In fact, we'll, we'll save that, not to be too long-winded at the top here, which I'm really good at doing. 12-inch uh, radius on the fretboard, so it's flatter than we typically see with Fender basses. Um, I think maybe except in the Ultra, which goes up to a 12. Um, so that's a little bit flatter than we see. So typically we see a nine and a half or a seven and a quarter in a, in a vintage instrument. This is 12, so a very modern feel. It's a medium C neck, so it's not thin, it's not chunky. It, it really feels sort of like a straight C to me, but they call it a medium C. Obviously, you see the black hardware. What's cool too is on the on the back on the neck plate here, it says "Made in Japan" uh, with like kind of the, the the white etching on the black on the black card. Really cool. Plays really nice out of the box. I really I always kind of dig this this body shape and this type of bass. So. Um, what I was playing in the intro was everything wide open, the TBX on 10, um, and both pickups wide open. So we're gonna show you kinda where I would play that. It was a little bit too bright for my taste. So I'm gonna roll that back. TBX is not engaged. I'm gonna take the tone back where I would typically have it, which would be trying to get around 70 to 75%. Both pickups wide open, like I said, P and J. Super nice, super responsive. Now, we roll that tone all the way back so we get that typical kind of muffled sound, like I said. Not super usable, it really never is. No one's really playing that way. 
Maybe some of you are out there. Drop me a line. Let me know if you play with your bass, the tone all the way off. We can debate that. I don't think it's very usable though. And now we start to engage the TBX. So TBX kind of on one, you're gonna start to feel those mids get scooped out. You definitely hear the high end start to get accentuated. The lows get a little bit clearer. Now we'll go all the way on 10 with that TBX. Just a reference again with no TBX. With TBX. Cool, there's definitely a difference there. It adds one more tone we can pull. So that's pickups wide open. Now, in when both pickups are engaged, one, what seemed weird to me at first kind of feature of this, but it actually makes a ton of sense. It's a very smart move here. Um, so you can control each pickup. So we start to roll off the bridge pickup there, you'll hear it change. Really, you're hearing just that front pickup, both. But check it out, when either one of these volume knobs is dropped to zero, it cuts the entire signal. Or, that makes a ton of sense because if you're playing in that position and you want to cut volume, you don't want to have to turn both knobs down at one time. So you can just reach down and pick either one of those, roll it back, and you got your volume cut. So that's, that actually makes a ton of sense to me. It kind of confused me at first why it was doing that. So. That's sort of what's going on control layout wise and how it functions when both pickups are wide open. Now, just front pickup, we're gonna put right in the middle. So TBX not engaged, tone all the way up. TBX. And we'll go just bridge pickup. So no TBX, but tone all the way up. Take the TBX on. Wow, the harmonics really ring with that TBX engaged. Um, also, this is in Torino Red. It's also in Sherwood Green Metallic, which I'll hold up there. We're filming this around Christmas time. Isn't this like a perfect uh, match for that time of year? So, super cool basses. We just got them in. They're brand new. Give me a call at the shop, 412-343-5299. Email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. Check out the website. Share it around social media. Subscribe, follow, do all that fun stuff that the kids do. And we'll see you next time. Thank you much.